Hello cider lovers, I'm Jeremiah with the Hard Cider Hub. Today I'm going to show you how to check your specific gravity of your fresh pressed juice. So we've got a hydrometer here, glass, it's been uh, cleaned, sanitized from my use last time. We have the beaker for the hydrometer, we have a wine thief here, and we've got our cup. Fresh pressed juice, of course. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take some of our juice using our wine thief. We want to make sure this is cleaned and sanitized, which it is. Actually, I just used it um, in this juice just a minute ago. So we push it down against the bottom. It fills on up here. Whoa, not supposed to be doing that. That's okay. We're going to put it all in here anyways. I just gotten a little bit of garbage in there. That happens, taking it off the bottom. So, there we go. You know, some people like to fill it all the way up. I'll fill it up to about right there. Go ahead and add my hydrometer to it. What you really can't see from where you are is that the hydrometer, you see these little bubbles in here. What will happen was these little bubbles that you see all around here will collect on the side. So you just want to make sure you give it a good spin like that until there's nothing on it. And then I like to set it down on a flat surface. So I like to get down here and look at it. And it looks like now once we spin it, make sure there's no bubbles on there. We're looking at the right section. We want to make sure we're definitely reading. You know, this is the one I have here has three different readings on it. So you just want to make sure that you're getting the specific gravity reading on it. And it looks like from my spe specific gravity on this style is one point. Zero six. So I've got here is the table that came with my hydrometer. A little beat up, but hey, go down and look at the 1.06, and the potential alcohol is 7.9. Um, the bricks on it is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, is 14.7. So I you know if, if I don't alter this at all, it's a pretty good alcohol level. I'm rather happy with that. Next thing we want to do is take the temperature. And the temperature will tell us, you know, if it's within the temperature range of which our scale is. If not, then we just, you know, we'll need to adjust it. So I've got a digital uh, thermometer here. I'm just going to lower it down into my sample. And this particular hydrometer is set for 68 degrees. So if it's not 68 degrees, we will need to adjust it. And it's saying my cider, if this thermometer is correct, is at 78 degrees. So we'll need to give it a plus 002, approximately plus 002 to um, the specific gravity reading. So it would be 1.062. So, so it's still not bad. I'm, I'm happy with that. So that's pretty much it for checking your specific gravity. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Thanks for joining me today at the Hard Cider Hub and we'll catch you next time.